guys, what's up? Two Wheel Turbin. Today I got this Facebook find right here. This is a 2013 Kawasaki Ninja 636. Only 7,500 miles on it. Clean title. Yes, it's been down a couple times on slower speeds. But on Facebook, I ended up getting this bike for only $4,500, which pretty good. I mean, if you look at the market right now for these 600 class bikes, especially the R6s, the prices are ridiculous. I mean, honestly, these bikes are selling for around six to seven grand pretty much all day. So I'm so happy that I got to get my hands on it for such a great price and get to share it on the channel. And that's exactly what we're going to do today. We're going to see, this is going to be, you guys are about to see my very first moments on this bike because uh, when I went to purchase this, I just drove my Toyota Tacoma to the seller's house and uh, didn't feel comfortable riding it you know, home. I wanted to make sure I looked it over a little bit. Not saying that I've done any type of really thorough look through. Honestly, I really should, especially with a high performance bike. Um, but we'll see are my very first impressions with this bike, not messing with anything, just seeing what you know can $4,500 get you. I think if you're patient enough, you're looking for a bike like this or any motorcycle out there, there are deals to be had. Just check Facebook regularly. Um, but yeah, this is the, the, the bike. I'll show you guys a little bit more up close. Let's see. I'm trying out a new mic today, so I'm hoping the audio is gonna come out a little bit better. I bought a little bit of a road um, video vlogging kit set up, so hopefully we can get some better footage for you guys, but it's a pretty clean bike. Um, you can see that it's been down on this fairing, and then definitely down on this side you can see some damage. But other than that, not too bad. Show you guys the dash. Let me get to focus for you guys. There we go. So 7,500 miles. Um, pretty cool with these bikes. There's a full power mode, then a low power mode, and then also three levels of traction control, and you can turn it off as well. For my first impressions right, I'll keep it on full traction control because, I don't know, I've never ridden one of these, so don't know what to expect. We'll try to keep on all the safety features that we can and see what this bike is like. So really, there's nothing else for us to do other than throw the helmet on and hop on the road and see what this bike is all about. All right, guys, let's start this thing up, see what it's about. And to build up the anticipation a little bit of what the 636 can do, we'll start off the ride in L and see what type of power that feels like. And then we can put it to where its full potential is and put it in power level F, which I'm assuming F for full, L for low, and just see how quick this 636 is. I used to have a, a Yamaha R6 a 2006 50th anniversary that I absolutely loved. So I have a special place in my heart for the 600s. I think they're one of the coolest classes out there, bikes. But I feel like this guy must have lowered the front end or something a little bit. I feel like he dropped the triple tree on these, these forks. I mean, oh my gosh, I know I'm... Ugh, I ride the old man Super Duke with the upright seating position, but geez, this is really leaned over. I don't know if I can exit here. We'll see. Okay, so even with L, there's pretty adequate power. I mean, the average person is going to be... Oh, this looks to be just an entrance. Hopefully I don't get killed out here. But, uh, it looks like that was the entrance. I don't think there's a quick shifter with these models. I don't see anything that says quick shifter. Oh no, we caught the train. Okay, hopefully we can get around these guys. Let's go over here. Okay, I think we'll get around them. So let's do a little bit of a pull in L if we have the opportunity here. Oh my gosh, I keep sliding forward. I'm not used to the seating position. Okay, let's see what L feels like on the beautiful 636. Wow, that's still pretty quick. It definitely feels slower than like how I remember my R6, but we're in L. What do you expect? If it was faster, that'd be pretty concerning. That's enough of L. Let's just go straight to full power. Let's see how this bike is. I really 
like this motor. It's very smooth. It's more, um, I'd say there's more usable power so far than the R6. A little bit more of a low end and just a smoother power curve. Uh, the seating position is super aggressive. It hurts my lower back a bit, which I shouldn't be saying as a 22 year old, but I am six foot, which isn't crazy tall, but this bike is kind of cramped for, for six foot, to be honest. Little bit cramped, little bit, little bit. But uh, let's see how it goes off the line. Oh my gosh, oh, I missed 600. Oh my gosh, there's so much fun. is fun baby you got to be careful though you don't want to be stupid <laughs> oh my gosh that power is intoxicating we outran that train like it was nothing like it was standing still on the 636 Woo! Oh yeah, that one thing. So the reason why those lights are coming on, at least what the seller told me, <laughs> who knows, he could have got me. But the front tire, he said, he installed the wheel wrong. Like he took it off and then he swapped it and he uh, installed it wrong. So it causes uh, these codes to pop up whenever you start riding. The bike itself seems to be running just fine. So uh, I don't think that really changes anything. Good thing we put it in full power mode. I don't know if we can make the change now. But let's go to some uh, more twisty roads and just get a feel for how this handles. I'm curious. It seems decent, but I wish he didn't mess with the front forks. I think these bikes, you know, from factory are set up, the geometry and everything is, is proper. You don't really want to mess with that. I know people do it for the looks and uh, sometimes they drop them for roll races and stuff, but it's really, oh my God, it's really not a good idea. Better just to, better just to leave it how it is, how it's supposed to be. Well, that's what happens when you buy stuff on Facebook, you don't know exactly where you're gonna get. It seems like the rear brake's a little bit off, but uh, See what it does in some more cornering. I haven't really done any type of cornering recently, so I'm not gonna be going fast here. And I don't know the condition of these tires. We're just gonna be cruising. So far it seems to be decent. Lean in, it's leaning. I would say the handling is worse than my R6, but I think that's just because the way he has these front forks set up. And they just feel weird. It like doesn't want to lean over like the R6, but it, it, it does better though for, for going in a straight line, it seems to be a lot more stable. I have to admit that. I see why guys drop the front forks whenever they're running roll races. But, um, as far as cornering, feels not that good. Ooh. Nice backfires. Man, 600s, they scream. I think this just has like a slip on or something, but it, maybe not. It's super loud. Yeah, this seating position is like, oh. If you want to try to relax, you got to like put this hand here, straighten your back, and yep. I need to swap that front wheel, see hopefully if that figures. I don't know, if any of you guys ride this bike, let me know down below if that's ever happened to you. That's what he told me, the seller said, yeah, it's the front wheel, I didn't stall it right. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Wow, those pops are awesome. Let's see, let's do a little second gear. One, two, one. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so 
something about just a way of 600 poles is just so much fun. Oh, oh wait, I think I put it. Oh, there's neutral. <laughs> just trying to go to second. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that's coming over the microphone, but those are some intoxicating sounds. It's just absolutely rips. Rips, 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 rips. Wow. That's a lot of fun. If you put a quick shifter on one of these, man, that'd be a lot of fun. Really like this bike. I'd love to have like a newer 636. I'm not a huge fan of the styling. Like I think the, you know, the final generation of the R6 looks better. However, however, the Ninja, I'm sure with this similar motor, same motor is just fantastic. Six. A ton of fun. This thing rips. Well, that's my first impressions of the Ninja uh, 636. It's an awesome bike. For $4,500, you're probably going to get one that's not perfect, like this one. It's got some road rash and got some weird lights coming on right now. Because, uh, front wheel maybe <laughs> but uh yeah really like it pretty sick pretty sick bike for sure yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you like the ninja 636 or do you prefer some other 600 let me know uh yeah thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed that little bit of content Hopefully I'll do some realistic 0-60 to 60 or some sort of test for this bike. Or get, I'm going to try to get my other buddy to buy a 600. Maybe we can do some roll or drag races. So stay tuned for that. Hit the subscribe button if you're interested in that type of content. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya. Bye.